going to do about these gas prices? Hey guys, Backwaters and Backroads here. Obviously. So, as you can see, it's dumping buckets of rain here for the past couple days. I'm in Titusville again, caught up with the boat, caught up with the Vagabond, <clears throat> and uh, my buddy's gonna let me work on it in his driveway here again for a couple days. I'm gonna do three things to it uh, before we do whatever we're gonna do, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Um, I got a roof rack for it so I can carry kayaks and driftwood and whatever and just keep it off the decks and keep the, the kayak out of the way, you know. <clears throat> uh, they come in really handy. Um, I've got a, oh, like a little ducktail that I'm going to put on the, the Honda 50 horse that's hopefully going to make it steer straighter so I don't have to be correcting on the wheel all the time. Um, I've made friends with a guy who also has a Vagabond, and he put one on, and he said it made a world of difference, so um, I think it's going to do the trick. Um, and also, one of one of our fellow travelers here, uh, viewers of the channel, <clears throat> sent me a, a depth sounder that he had sitting in his garage, and he wasn't using it, so he sent it to me, and I'm going to hook it up, and thank you. You know who you are. Appreciate it. Man, it's going it, to be so much easier on the next adventure. Okay, um, let's talk about exactly what the venture is coming up and fuel prices. That's on everyone's mind. It's weighing on everybody's mind. So, okay, guys, I'm I'm just gonna probably try to do this in one take. Um, this is not gonna be one of my best and most produced <laughs> videos, to say the least. But sometimes you just gotta, you know put one out there especially if it's just really information based so um <clears throat> okay so as everybody knows um gas prices are shooting through the roof down here in florida just yesterday um, i almost ran out of gas in my truck because i couldn't find a gas station that had fuel all they had was the 93 super premium octanes the rest of them had mm, tape on the uh <clears throat> tape on the the nozzles and it was over five bucks a gallon and i so i just like on fumes finally found a gas station who that had regular and it was i still paid 439 a gallon now i'm trying not to let that worry me too much because um i have a feeling this is just getting started it's not even spring yet you know in most places and and they're gonna blame everything on russia anyways so uh we don't know need to go into that but um so it's going to get expensive to do to do adventures um that's going to probably be the theme for a while <clears throat> and that's that's right up my alley as you guys know if you watch my channel that i'm a budget adventurer and i just i'm i'm at i adapt <clears throat> i have uh i was just talking to my friends here a little you know a while ago that you know if gas is 10 bucks a gallon i'll bust out the 
the scooters get 100 miles to the gallon, and I'll still have adventures. And I got kayaks, I've got canoes, I've got little two horse motors, and I've got, you know, little gas sippers. And really, for me um, and for this channel, the what it comes down to is if fuel is can be had. That's about the only thing that will ever stop me from having adventures. It, 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 we just don't have fuel. And I suppose if we didn't, then it would just be another type of adventure, <clears throat> having a lot to do with walking and hiking and, um, you know, <laughs> not not uh, not starting motors, I guess, you know, that's probably the way to put it. So, but we're survivors. That's what this is all about. So, so my thoughts are this. I'm going to, once it stops raining here, uh, hopefully tomorrow, I'm going to work on the boat, the things I just told you guys. And Monday, I'm going to hit a food bank. Um, there's a place that gives away a lot of food, and I, I'll take advantage of that. And I'll help with the budget a little bit. I've been thinking about uh, launching from the same place I did when I was here a month ago. And instead of going north, turning south and going towards Miami and all the places in between Titusville and Miami, the little nooks and crannies, uh, out along the ICW. And take about another week to just go see what we can find. I know there's some lighthouses down there, and there's some, you know, there's there's things to see. I've looked them up this past month when I was home. Another thought I had was, I'm, you know, watching things day by day. And, and Florida uh, is one of the more expensive places to be at the moment when it comes to fuel. Uh, on my way down here, I was only paying like three seventy nine, three sixty nine a gallon. As soon as I crossed over the, the Florida line it jumped up about 40 cents more than the surrounding states so that might be a factor plus i'm a little worried about getting home to tell you the truth now i'm not going to panic and i'm not going to just rush home um but i am watching things closely because you know i've known this for years um if things ever get really really bad and people kind of get locked down for whatever reason because we you know gas isn't available or whatever there could be a hundred reasons they could manufacture um, I want to. I want to be home. I want to be in the UP because that's that's where my that's where everything that I've built up for for you know surviving a lockdown situation is at you know six months of food and you know that's just everyone would rather be home, right? So I'm kind of watching things closely. If if gas. I kind of have a threshold if gas gets up pushing five bucks a gallon for regular down here i might take off and head up to tennessee or the ozarks which is about halfway home for me and we could we could hunker down there for a couple weeks and maybe launch the boat into one of the many the, the reservoirs up there like bull shoals or norfolk or uh, the kentucky lakes you know go back to the spot there on the in Tennessee that, um, well, that I, I passed and hung out on the Shanty Beagle Adventure. And the Kentucky Lakes are, are beautiful, and so there's lots to see there. So one way or another, we're going to have an adventure on this boat here in the next, you know, few weeks, but I'm, I'm not quite sure yet whether it's going to be here in Florida. I'm kind of paying attention to what's going on. So, uh, but not panicking, because, like I said, I think this is just getting started. We still have a ways to go before... Things get hard, but things are going to get hard. I just anyone in denial at this point. I just don't know what else to say. So, but uh, okay, guys. Hopefully, that made some sense. Um, you, can, you might be able to hear that thunder there. Uh, okay, guys. So I think uh, the next video is going to be probably showing you the stuff that I'm done to the boat here to get it ready for the next adventure um, as soon as it stops raining. So, okay, guys. Thanks for sticking around. And we will see you soon. Oh, hi. I'm Wavy. I'm the star of the channel. I'm just here to remind you that we have some postcards we can send you, three different kinds. And we still have some shells from the last trip. We'll probably find some more, too. And we got stickers, just a few. You can see they, they stick really good even when it's cold outside. And so, anyway, i got to get off this boat. Uh -oh.